Hey y'all, it's Michael, and let's continue on talking about more books that I read for May. This is my third video doing this straight, and I'm finding out that I'm really enjoying it. I think too is this really good spot of me talking about books because it's not that long like my old wrap-ups, but it still gives me enough time to really talk about the book. So yes, let's continue. The first book is Miles From Nowhere by Nami Moon, narrated by Alin Ha. I got the physical copy right here, but I decided to listen to it on audiobook. Um, I'll talk more about why I'm listening to a lot of audiobooks versus um, physically reading one in my next video because one book... <sighs> Anyways. More positive things. This book is about June. She's Korean American and it takes place actually in New York and it switches back and forth like between time periods. This book I thought was okay. The story really revolves around how what June experiences in her childhood and how that relates back to what she does and chooses to do in the present time. And I felt like this book didn't really deliver the character development enough for me to care about her because all of these horrible things start happening to June and there were parts where I felt like it was just kind of, I wouldn't say bland, but it was just flat. And when these things were happening to her, I really didn't feel some sort of attachment and I felt like the author really needed to develop a connection between the, the reader and this character because of all of these things happening to her. Mm, like it wasn't a bad book but I just wasn't grasped, it just didn't grasp me enough for me to care so much about June. Things happen with her family and her friends and like her life but other than that, yeah, I don't have that much to say about it. I gave it two stars out of five. Alright, the next book I really enjoyed and this is the book that I read for Book buddy a thon read a -thon. and I didn't do a wrap up on that because I quite frankly didn't read but this one book from the list and then the other book that I don't even want to think about and my book buddy was um, Deja uh, she doesn't have a book too but she is on Twitter and that is Confessions by Kane Minato it's translated by Stephen um, Snyder and it's narrated by Elena Erica Davis and Noah Galvin <sighs> Hold on to your seats because I'm going to convince you to read this book. It was fantastic. This is the book that she chose and she said, I really love this book and I wanted to reread it again. I went into this book blind and I was like, sure, why not? And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. This was such a good thriller. I'm glad I listened to it on audiobook because I listened to this audiobook in two days. Which is crazy because the book was, I mean, it wasn't that short, but it's a good amount. And I was like, oh my gosh, I I, list, I could have listened to this book in one day, but I just couldn't find enough time. I, just, I really wanted to sit down and listen to it. It was, it was fantastic. It was such a great listening experience. And the story, the story grabs you from the beginning. If you want a, just a good thriller, I would recommend this and go into this book blind. It will genuinely surprise you because I thoroughly enjoyed it. I haven't convinced you yet. Let me talk about this. It starts off with um, our teacher, um, let me, I wrote it down, um, Morijigo-san. On the last day of school, um, Morijigo-san basically confesses because come to find out that her um, daughter, who is four years old, died. Um, she died in a drowning incident. And so she sits down her class and this is the last day of school and she's talking about it and she confesses that she knows that her daughter was murdered and that the murderers are in her class. That's it. That's all you need to know. That's really all you need to know. So what happens is this book, each chapter, the chapters take place within different characters' points of view, but they start to stack on top of each other and you get to see different sides of the incident and who the people are involved with it. Because let me tell you, Marijigo san is so petty. Oh my god, this character is so petty, but what she decides to do I was genuinely shocked and at the same time I was like, oh she petty, but I love it. Like I love the choices that she <laughs> I love the choices that she make. And I was like, I would do something really well, would I do something? It really creates this sense of 
tension because as the story keeps layering and you find out different perspectives and you keep getting more information, when everything comes together, the revelation, it was just a really good thriller. Like this was such a good listening experience and I'm glad that Deja decided to pick it because I was really into it. I really wanted to talk about this because what she does is basically confess and in a lot of Asian cultures, this confession is really really important like remember in those old days here in the u.s well it's kind of like me giving someone a note and saying hey i really like you do you like me check yes or no a lot of asian cultures are very um in like, don't really want to stand out type of thing you want to kind of be within yourself each person is different but and so confessing and telling someone your true feelings is just really important i just gotta say this that this book is really japanese a lot of the things that they do if you you don't if you're not really familiar with the culture then you might not get some of the subtleties out of it but you don't have to but I think it's a really great um, exposure especially if you're trying to read more um, around the world or like diversely but yes I would recommend it I I, I thought this was such a good thriller thriller and the pacing is great the <laughs> <laughs> the characters are like it was so much some of them are really despicable and I was like mm, see but yes, I would recommend it. I gave it a uh, four stars out of five. Those are two books that I read for Asian Pacific Island Heritage Month. If you read any of the books, let me know down below. Uh, no spoilers, please. And until then, I'll see you guys till tomorrow. Bye!